Hello friends, are you ready to get another adventure going? Today we're going to be traveling to Jamaica, one of the islands in the Caribbean Sea, also known as the Antilles Archipelago. Don't forget to download your activity packet in the description below. There's lots of activities and more information about Jamaica ready to download. Let's start with the language. We need to know how to ask questions here, right? Well, the language is known as Patois, but don't worry. If you speak English, you'll be able to understand them. Patois is very similar to English, but they like to borrow some of their words from West African languages. Now, what's the first thing we say when meeting someone? That's right, it's hello. In Patois, we say wagwan. Jamaica is a pretty happy place. The inhabitants are known for being laid back and happy people, community driven and tight knit. But how do we get to Jamaica? Obviously, many people travel in the air by plane, but do you know what's even more fun? You can also get there by boat. Speaking of water, Jamaica has some of the most amazing blue water beaches and beautiful waterfalls in the world, such as the Duns River Falls, a famous waterfall that looks like natural stairs and is located near Ocho Rios at about 180 feet or 55 meters high and 600 feet or 180 meters long. This is a major Caribbean tourist attraction that receives thousands of visitors each year. The Luminous Lagoon is another example of Jamaica's beauty. This lagoon hosts a variety of bioluminescent micro microorganisms. Bioluminescent means that it glows on its own. Uh, microorganisms in its waters and they create an amazing and pretty glow when they get unsettled. Obviously the best time to visit this place is at night. The more the water moves the more it glows. What if you want to travel on Jamaica's water in a more traditional yet eco-friendly way? Let's talk about bamboo rafting. Well, bamboo is actually a grass that originates from China. It grows very fast in Jamaica, so they chop it down with their cutlasses and wrap it all together and throw it on the river. Then they relax and float down the water, pushing themselves with a big stick that reaches all the way to the bottom of the river. It's slow and relaxing like the gondolas in Venice, and not so much like the whitewater rafting you'll find in the US or Canada. Speaking of that peaceful rafting got me hungry. Let's talk about food. If you want to eat something in the morning, you might be wondering, what's a classic Jamaican breakfast? Well, the popular Jamaican breakfast options include Johnny Cake, which is a cornmeal flatbread, and salt mackerel, a pickled fish. People also like to use a lot of coconuts in their recipes, like rice. They add peas, and it really gives a different and tasty flavor. The Caribbean is known for being super hot, so we'll need something refreshing to cool off. Well, here it's very common to do it with coconut milk. They have lots of coconuts around. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Coconuts are very popular all over the Caribbean. They knock them out of trees and break them open with a cutlass to drink its milk. A cutlass is kind of like a machete, a big long blade that they can use to chop down bamboo and cut open coconuts. Speaking of fruit, Jamaica's national fruit is the aki and it's considered a delicacy. Aki is a red or orange pear-shaped fruit with three lobes and when it ripens, it splits open to reveal three large shiny black seeds that look like crab eyes. This tasty fruit's soft and spongy interior is white in color, has nut-like flavor and texture of scrambled eggs, mmm. And although it tastes sweeter than scrambled eggs, it's commonly served with fish in the aki and salt fish, the official national dish of Jamaica. But be careful, if you eat raw aki, it can make you sick. So make sure to cook it just like the Jamaicans do. Another very common fruit in Jamaica are plantains, which is basically a type of thicker and sometimes green banana. But the main difference from the traditional yellow banana that we all know and love is that you can't eat plantains until you slice and cook them. You can even fry them like a chip. Now let's talk about a different yet interesting fruit, the star fruit. This is a yellow fruit that when you slice it, it looks like, you guessed it, a star. The flesh is crunchy, firm, and extremely juicy. It doesn't contain fibers and has a texture similar to that of grapes. Here's an interesting fact. The juice of the more acidic sour types of star fruit can be used to clean rusty tarnished metal as well as bleach rust stains from cloth. Imagine that. But wait, we're not done with food yet. One of Jamaica's most famous dishes is the Jamaican patty. This is a tasty pastry that contains various fillings and spices baked inside a flaky shell, often tinted golden yellow with an egg yolk mixture. It's traditionally filled with seasoned ground beef, chicken, pork, lamb, vegetables, shrimp, lobster, fish, soy, cheese, and even the previously mentioned aki. Of course, the best way to eat it is inside a sliced open cocoa bread. Now let's move into the spicier side of Jamaican food. Jamaica is well known for their jerk seasoning, which consists of dry rubbed or wet meat being marinated with hot spice mixture. 
But how is this spice made? The traditional jerk spice recipe includes bird peppers, pimento, and pepper elder. Modern recipes may include scallions, garlic, ginger, pimento, thyme, cinnamon, and scotch bonnet peppers, which are in the same family as habaneros, so they're very spicy. Keeping up with the more adult food, here's something that your parents may find very interesting. The Blue Mountain Coffee. Blue Mountain Coffee is grown in the Blue Mountains of Jamaica, and it's well known for its mild flavor and lack of bitterness. An interesting fact about this coffee is that over 80% of Jamaica and blue coffee is exported to Japan, a country we've talked about before. People associate the Caribbean and Jamaica with having soul food, but what does that mean? Is it good for your soul? Jamaican and Caribbean culture is focused on the family. Food and the preparation of food for the family is a vital and pivotal part of Jamaican life, the family and community structure. Soul food is a very unique cuisine, dishes cooked with passion and love, bringing a true taste of the Caribbean. It's something similar to grandma's food or like a meal that smells amazing, you want to eat it. But since we start talking about people, let's mention how friends greet each other in Jamaica. Do you have a secret handshake with your best friend? The Jamaican handshake looks a lot like that. Jamaica's handshake may seem like a game of thumb wars, but each of the three movements represents a special agreement between the two friends, peace, love, and respect. But what about the clothing? In Jamaica, the quadrille dress is made of cotton. It's called a bandana skirt. The skirt is worn with a ruffled sleeve blouse and matching head tie. Men's traditional attire consists of loose white pants that are rolled up to the knees in a similar way to those worn by the people who work in the field. As soon as you arrive in Jamaica, you can sense the vibe that has given birth to a wealth of rich history and art. With their blend of African and Caribbean influences, they have so much personality. From reggae music to wooden and textile arts such as tie-dye and braiding, this is what we know as Jamaica Rasta style. Let's stop on this topic for a second because, maybe you didn't know this, but Jamaican Rasta style is more than just dreadlock. Rastafarianism is the Jamaican spiritual movement influenced by local philosophical and spiritual thoughts that teach the principle of a balanced life. Lifestyle. The spiritual concept is known as liberty. It also includes the wearing of long hair locked in its natural uncombed state, dressing in the colors of red, green, gold, and black, which of course symbolize the life force of blood, herbs, royalty, and Africanness, and eating a natural vegetarian diet known as etal. Religious rituals, including meditation and drumming ceremonies, they really know how to celebrate life. We really can't talk about Rastafarianism without mentioning reggae music, can we? Reggae is a music genre that originated in Jamaica in the late 60s and grew out of the Rastafari movement. Reggae is a mostly soft and relaxed genre with lyrics about peace and love, although social problems are also a common topic in the songs. It was made popular throughout the world by Jamaican singer and songwriter Bob Marley. You may have heard of him. One of his most famous songs is, Is This Love? Speaking of reggae, did you know there's a certain clothing style often associated with this music? Yeah, that's right. And the tie-dye is a great example. This popular dyeing technique that is also associated with the hippie movement makes colorful and psychedelic clothing. And the best part is that it's very very easy to do at home. You just have to wind your shirt into a circle, hold it very tight with rubber bands, and start painting it with vibrant colors. If you want to try it, make sure to ask for an adult for help. As you can see, Jamaicans are great dancers and musicians, but what instruments are they most famous for? The answer is acoustic guitar, banjo, and hand drums, and the Roomba box. But wait a minute, what's a Roomba box? Also known as marimbula, the Roomba box is an instrument very famous in the Caribbean, and it's made out of a wooden box with a sound hole cut out in the center of it. Across this hole, a number of metal strips are attached at one end to the box. The instrument carries the bass part of the music. And since we're talking about music, let's not forget about the carnivals. Jamaica is well known for their amazing and exotic carnivals, such as the Jouvea Festival, which is celebrated all around the Caribbean and most recent carnival in Jamaica. These carnivals are so famous that even London has carnivals that celebrate Caribbean and African culture. Of course, in Jamaica, there's more than party and musicians. They have amazing athletes like Usain Bolt, the fastest man on earth. And that nickname is no joke. He can run 27 miles per hour. He's faster than a roadrunner. There are also other famous Jamaican athletes such as Shelly Ann Fraser Price, also a track and field sprinter, two-time gold medalist, and four-time world champion. And of course, we can't forget about the Jamaica national bobsled team. I know what you're thinking, a cold weather sport represented by a nation with a tropical environment? Yeah. That's crazy. People say that Jamaica has such good athletes because of the yams. This is a tuber vegetable found widely in Jamaica and is very rich in nutrients. Something similar to Popeye. Well, Jamaicans also have the body shape in their favor. They have very strong legs, strength, and height. Something that good food helps with, don't you think? Now it's time to talk about Jamaica's animals. Jamaica doesn't have deers or bears, but they have lots of tropical fish, iguanas, monkeys, and boas, which are huge, thick snakes. The boa constrictor, for example, has been reported to grow a maximum of 14 feet 
feet in length. Imagine that. But don't get too scared now. These snakes are non-venomous and a lot of them live with people like pets. Maybe you're planning to visit during the Christmas season. Christmas in Jamaica shares a lot with American or European Christmas, but here are some of the differences. First of all, dinner on Christmas Day, the biggest feast for Jamaicans, includes chicken, oxtail, goat curry, roast ham, and rice and gunjo beans, which are slightly bigger than regular peas. No turkey? Whoa, that's weird. Homes are traditionally decorated with bright red, poinsettias, and Santa Claus is also around during Christmas. So if you want to travel to Jamaica, don't forget to check the weather. It can get a little rainy. Get the camera ready and let's travel to Jamaica. Okay, me gan, which means I'm gone or goodbye in Patois. Ciao!